It's raining outside, and a car pulls by. Alex gets out of the car, takes her suitcase out, and walks into a building. She is carrying a 3D design of a house in her hands. Alex walks into the big office, with a couple of people already inside, and goes to talk with her partner and a colleague Maya. The colleague mentions there is a difference between a digital design and a 3D physical one, and Alex explains that is the reason why she sat on a plane for 20 hours, and came to deliver her project in person. The colleague would like to have lunch with Alex, but Alex says she is pressed with time, and has another plane to catch, because she is going to celebrate Christmas with her family in Switzerland, where her parents grew up. Alex takes out a gift and gives it to her colleague, it's a scarf from Bombay, and the colleague loves it. Alex's parents are in Switzerland, preparing the house for the holidays, and Alex's brother Andy is there as well. Andy asks his mother if she is sure if it's a good idea to have Alex's best friend come for holidays as well, as she is now dating Alex's ex-boyfriend. The atmosphere in the house is cheerful and hectic. Alex arrives in front of her parents' house covered in snow. She enters the house looking happy and being in a holiday mood, and greets her mother, who is also delighted to see her. Her brother Andy and his family are there as well, and they all hug. Andy offers to give his sister a tour and show her around. He takes her to her room, and Alex says she will only rest her head for a bit. The next morning at 7 a.m., Alex wakes up and realizes she slept through the whole night. She looks through the window and sees a lovely view. She says to herself she might like it here. Alex goes downstairs, where there is already a busy atmosphere. Her mother introduces her to Liam, who is a charming new manager of the hotel. As Alex is standing next to the ladder, a box for holiday decorations almost drops on her head. Alex's mother gets slightly upset and warns the worker to be more careful. The worker apologizes and goes into the other room. The situation is interrupted by the chef entering the room and explaining they need to order new wines if they expect them to arrive in time. Alex's mother needs to go to town, but the chef insists on ordering new wines straight away. They decide for Alex to go to the town with Liam instead, so that her mother can deal with the wine problem. Alex and Liam walk to the store, as everything in this town is close by, and within a walking distance. Alex wants to know more about Liam, and he explains he used to run one of the biggest hotel chains in Switzerland, in Bern, and now he is here working for Alex's mother. Liam adds he is here because he wants to be closer to his family, and he also used to live in the US sometime in the past. They arrive in front of the shop, and Alex comments the store is quite charming. But Liam doesn't see anything charming in it, he thinks it's just a store. Alex concludes everything in Switzerland is charming. They enter the store, and Alex helps Liam pick some Christmas decorations. She says she can help because she is not bad at visuals, so she picks the decoration, and notices the colors, green, gold, red, and so on. Liam joins in as well, and helps pick the candles. Some time passes, and they have a good time shopping, and get to know each other a little bit. They go back to the hotel, and Liam thanks Alex for her help, and she seems glad to have spent some time with him. Alex walks inside, and joins her brother Andy and his son Noah, in playing a board game. Alex says she wants to play the next round with them. Andy accidentally slips, and says Alex's best friend Beth will be coming as well. Alex is not happy to hear the news, because Beth is now dating her ex-boyfriend Jesse, and they haven't talked for at least a year. Alex tries to talk to her mother about it, but Carol doesn't want to hear it. She is happy her friend Nadine is coming with her daughter Beth, and she considers them a part of the family. Carol also believes Christmas might be a good time to leave the quarrels behind. She thinks Beth and Alex should start speaking again. Alex wakes up, and hears noise from outside of the hotel. It's Nadine and her daughter Beth, and Carol is delighted to see them. She welcomes them in the hotel, and Alex is wondering how she will handle meeting Beth again. Alex comes downstairs, and stops for a couple of seconds to prepare, before joining the breakfast. She finally approaches the table as Carol, Nadine and Beth are having breakfast. Alex and Nadine hug warmly, and Alex asks how she has been lately, but once Alex sees Beth, she looks reluctant to approach her. Eventually, Beth and Alex hug as well, and Alex sits at the table, while occasionally looking at Beth. Beth also looks a bit awkward, sitting by the table with Alex's family. They continue eating and join the conversation. Later that day, Alex is playing a traditional game with her brother and his family. They are supposed to run and make a snowman, and whoever is finished first wins. Beth and Liam are cheering for the contestants, while they are getting the snowballs, and putting scarfs around the snowmen's necks. Finally, Lindsay, Andy's wife, wins and they end the game. Everyone is in a competitive mood, but they also congratulate the winner. Alex and Liam go inside, and Alex mentions she would like to go to a coffee shop, as she likes to try the coffee in every country she visits, because it's possible to learn a lot about culture from its coffee. Liam asks Alex if she would want him to show her Switzerland, especially the parts most tourists don't get to see. Alex likes the idea, but she is a bit unsure why Liam would want to spend the whole day doing that. Liam explains he needs Alex's help as well with the opening night, and they agree on meeting in front of a park they passed by, earlier during the day. Liam also adds that she should bring her nephew Noah. Alex and Noah are getting ready for a Christmas night out. Andy wants to know if he can come as well, but Alex tells him Liam only invited her, 
and Noah, he can maybe join them next time. Annie has no choice but to agree, and he wishes them good luck. Alex and Noah meet Liam at the park. There are a lot of children there waiting for Santa, and among them is Liam's son Kelby. Alex is a bit surprised to learn Liam has a son. Liam opens up and says his wife passed away two years ago. Alex asks a lot of questions about the celebration and Santa and his crew, and Liam explains in detail the customs and traditions of Christmas in Switzerland. He says there is another character besides Santa, Schmutzli, and he has a broom that he sometimes uses to hit people on the head. Liam also adds it is a story more than a reality, and the children are happy to see Santa and his helpers, who give the children gifts and candies. Alex and Noah come back to the hotel, and Noah has a basket full of gifts with him. They go to the living room and join Andy, his wife Lindsay and Beth. They are playing a board game. Noah excitedly tells his parents about the night out with his aunt. Andy invites Alex to join the game, but she seems reluctant. Lindsay adds she can take her place, as she needs to put Noah to bed anyways. Alex eventually agrees and joins the game. As they are playing, Carol and Nadine are observing them from upstairs. They are wondering if the relationship between Alex and Beth will improve. Beth and Alex still seem a bit awkward, but everyone is sitting together and playing a game. Afterwards, Alex is in her room writing notes for her work, when she receives a call from her colleague Maya. Maya wishes her a Merry Christmas and wants to know if Alex would like to accept the business offer and travel to Argentina to do the project. Alex asks Maya if she would like to take the offer, but Maya answers she has plenty of work as it is, and she remembers how much Alex wanted to see Argentina. The project starts right after the holidays, and Alex finally agrees and happily accepts it. Alex and Liam meet outside of the hotel, on the rooftop, and Liam informs Alex he is thinking about moving the opening there, as it's the perfect location. Alex is drinking her coffee and chatting with Liam, he says she could help out with pastries. Liam and Alex are in the kitchen, with the chef who made some lovely desserts and sweets. Alex tries some of the pastries, and thinks they are amazing. She says the chef is a genius, and he answers he might be gifted but perhaps not a genius. They joke for a while and enjoy the food. Liam mentions there is a Christmas market in town and invites Alex to come with him. As they are speaking, Andy comes in the kitchen to try the pastries, as well as Carol, and the whole group makes a plan of going to the market. Alex is not thrilled by the idea of everyone coming along, especially Beth, and the guys tease her about it. Alex also mentions she's been to the Christmas market in Chicago, but Liam explains this market is different, it's a traditional Swiss market. It's nighttime, and everyone is at the market enjoying the food and wine in a celebratory atmosphere. Alex is taking a walk through the stands with Liam, and his son Kelby is there as well. Liam gives him some money to buy the sweets. Beth comes by, she is holding two cups of traditional cooked wine, and she offers a glass to Alex. Alex is a bit cold at first, and doesn't want to take it, but after a bit of persuasion, she agrees and takes the cup. Liam, Alex and Beth go to the next stand with candles, and Beth and Alex remember a couple of memories from their childhood, when they were making calendars for Christmas. The night at the market ends on a positive note, and Liam says he has to go and take his son home. Alex and Liam both agree they had a great night together. Back at the hotel, the whole group is together, they are lighting candles and enjoying the night. Beth receives a call from Jesse and excuses herself to go and talk to him. Jesse is calling from the other country to check how Beth is doing. Beth is wondering if he can somehow make it to Christmas, but Jesse has to work and travel. They end the conversation by saying I love you, and Alex hears a part of the conversation and looks a bit sad and nostalgic. The next morning, Beth is sitting with Nadine and Carol. Alex comes by, and Carol and Nadine start making plans about the girls going skiing. Alex gets upset, and almost shouts she doesn't feel like going. Carol and Nadine seem a bit disappointed, but they don't insist on the trip. Beth asks if there is anything she can do, and Alex excuses herself and leaves. Liam goes after Alex, and they talk in front of the hotel. She explains, she and Beth used to be best friends, but now she is dating her ex-boyfriend Jesse, who was Alex's first love, and he broke her heart. Liam asks if Alex still loves Jesse, and she says she doesn't. Alex is trying to forgive Beth for dating her ex-boyfriend, but it's not going as smoothly as she had hoped it would. She also says she misses Beth, and the two of them had a great time last night, and they have known each other from birth. Alex walks into a kitchen, and Noah, Carol and the chef are making gingerbread man. They are completely occupied with putting chocolate buttons and candy eyes. Carol and the chef tell Noah the story of the gingerbread man, who was avoiding people because he didn't want to get hurt and eaten, until finally a fox caught him. Noah is carefully listening to the story to hear the ending. Alex lets everyone know she is going to meet Liam tonight. Carol wants to know if there is something going on between Alex and Liam. Alex assures her there isn't, but Carol comments the mother always knows. Alex and Liam meet, and he brings her another delicious traditional Swiss drink to try. He tells her about the advent in Switzerland, and how they put decorations on the window, and, each day, one decoration is revealed. He also mentions their hotel will reveal one of the decorations on December 24th. They take a walk, and Liam shows Alex the decorations on the neighboring houses. 
He takes her to his house, and Alex sees a lovely deer drawing on the window. Alex asks if she can see the inside of his house, and they enter the house, and sit by the fireplace. Liam asks Alex about her traveling lifestyle, and explains he used to live like that as well in the past, before he got married. Alex wants to know if it ever gets boring to see the same kind of people every day, and to live in a small village. Liam asks if Alex ever gets bored of always going someplace, and being on the road, and Alex opens up and says she doesn't really have roots anymore, as her brother lives with his family in Africa, and her mother now lives in Switzerland. They end up having an intimate conversation, and Liam looks as if he is taken by Alex's charm. He excuses himself, and goes to get them another traditional Swiss drink. Liam walks Alex home, and they say goodbye to each other for the night. Alex walks inside the hotel, and sees Beth. She is trying to light the candle with the matches. Alex offers to help, and she brings the lighter and gives it to Beth. Beth asks if she can say something to Alex, that she has been meaning to say for a long time. She says she only started dating Jesse after Alex and Jesse broke up, and at first she tried to stop herself from feeling anything for him, but she then realized she can't live without Jesse. Their conversation gets interrupted by Andy, who walks in the room. The next morning, Alex is in a pretty good mood, and she invites everyone at the table to go sledding with her, but everyone is playing puzzles, and Alex gives up trying to persuade them to go with her. She is about to leave the room, when Beth goes after her, and finishes what she wanted to say the previous day. She says she feels sad, that her relationship with Jesse ruined her friendship with Alex, and that she misses her. Alex finally seems ready to leave that situation behind, and forgive Beth, and they hug. Both Beth and Alex are excited to be talking again. Alex spends the day with Liam and his son Kelby. They go sledding on the hill in the forest, and they have a lot of fun doing it. Alex spends the whole day with the two of them. They go to Liam's and Kelby's house, and make some decorations for Advent. Tired from the day outside, Kelby falls asleep on the couch, as Liam and Alex are talking. Alex has a video call with her colleague, who wants to know if Alex is getting ready for her Argentina trip. Alex is putting on some makeup, as she is speaking with Maya. She asks Maya if she would like to go to Argentina instead. Meyer accepts covering for Alex, and traveling instead of her, but she is interested in knowing what made Alex change her mind. Alex explains she wants to stay for the opening in the hotel. Maya teases her about the mysterious handsome stranger on her Instagram story, and Alex defends herself, by saying she has no idea what Meyer is talking about. Alex spends some more time in the following days playing with Kelby, and having deep conversations with Liam. The three of them go outside to throw snowballs, and play in the snow. Back at Liam's house, Kelby admits to Alex he misses his mom, and shows her his picture. Kelby and his mom are playing the piano in the picture. Kelby also shows Alex his drawings. Liam sees one of the drawings, and realizes Kelby drew the photo of himself and his mother. Liam doesn't say anything, but seems a bit sad, and lost in his thoughts. Liam is walking Alex back to the hotel, and they are talking about Kelby. Alex says she noticed, Kelby is a bit worried he might forget his mother, and Liam says he put away some of the photos, because he didn't want to upset Kelby. They talk about how Kelby didn't really sing or play the piano ever since his mom died, but Liam adds he doesn't want to push it. Liam and Alex stop talking for a second, and look as if they are about to kiss each other, but then Alex gets distracted by something. Alex sees Jesse from the window of the hotel. Jesse looks at Liam and Alex, and disappears from the window. Liam asks if everything is okay, and Alex assures him everything is fine, and says see you tomorrow. Alex enters the hotel, and runs into Jesse. She is completely surprised to see him, because he was supposed to be working for Christmas. Jesse explains it was a change of plans at the last minute. He says he is glad to see her, and also starts apologizing for how they ended their relationship. Jesse believes he should have been more honest with her. Alex seems okay, and doesn't feel hurt that much. Jesse is wondering if she was on a date, and Alex explains Liam works for her mother. The night is about to end on good terms, but then Jesse mentions the wedding. Once Alex hears Jesse and Beth are going to get married, she gets upset, because they are again keeping secrets from her, and she leaves the room. Jesse tries to stop her, but it's in vain. The next morning, the house is full of people decorating it, and placing the Christmas tree. Alex comes downstairs, she looks angry. She wants to know, why no one told her Jesse and Beth are getting married. As Alex is talking to her brother, Noah is drawing. Alex realizes Andy also knew about the wedding, and so did her mom. Carol explains it wasn't her secret to reveal, so she couldn't tell her. Alex walks out of the house, and Liam goes after her. They talk for a while on the porch, and Alex calms down. She says she just managed to improve her friendship with Beth, and then she had to find out about another secret. She looks pretty hurt by the news of Beth's and Jesse's wedding. A bit later, everyone is decorating the big Christmas tree. Beth tries to tell Alex something, but Alex doesn't really listen to her. Alex asks Liam's son Kelby to come join her in the other room. Alex asks Kelby if he would like to sing tonight, and he is thrilled by the idea. Kelby also wants Alex to sing with him, and Alex promises she will. Kelby is a bit worried if his dad will like this idea, and Alex assures him Liam will agree if it makes Kelby happy. Alex and Kelby make a deal, and Kelby goes back to decorating the tree. 
Alex stays in the room talking to Beth, who came to apologize for keeping her wedding a secret. Alex is slightly passive-aggressive at first, but she soon gets over her anger, especially once she hears Beth's explanation. Beth says she asked Jesse not to tell Alex, because she wanted to be the first to tell her. But Jesse couldn't wait because he is a blabbermouth, as Beth puts it. Beth apologizes again from the bottom of her heart, and Alex accepts the apology. They hug and stop being mad at each other. The celebration starts, and the whole group is having a delicious dinner at the table. Carol asks the chef to come join them as well, as he is a family too. The chef is making jokes and asking who made the dinner as it is so tasty. Noah and Kelby are sitting next to each other and talking. Alex is smiling and looking at Liam, and everyone is drinking champagne. Alex asks everyone for a minute of attention, and she introduces the new music star, Kelby, who climbs on the table, while Alex plays the melody on her phone. Both Kelby and Alex start singing the Christmas song, and everyone in the room is enchanted. Once the song is finished, Liam at first seems happy and congratulates his son and Alex, but once he and Alex stay by themselves, he tells her she shouldn't have done that. Alex tries to tell him he's acting a bit too overprotective, and his son is more resilient than he realizes, but Liam seems upset by the event. He tells Alex he doesn't want his son getting attached to a person, who won't be in his life in the future. A bit later, Alex is in her room, and her mother walks in to comfort her. Alex asks her if she thinks that Alex overdid it with singing, and crossed some parenting boundaries, but Carol assures her she didn't. They talk about whether this relationship could ever work, considering Alex's lifestyle, and Carol concludes it is best to sleep on it, because Alex will feel better tomorrow. The next morning, Alex is sitting on the porch with her brother, and talking about Liam. Andy asks her what she is planning to do, and reminds her adventures make the most sense, when shared with other people. Andy seems optimistic about Liam's and Alex's relationship. Alex goes and knocks on Liam's door. He lets her in, and they talk about what happened the previous night. In the meantime, Liam's parents are playing with Kelby, who comes to say hello, and asks Alex to come join him. Alex answers she has to go back to the inn soon. She tells Liam she came to apologize for the singing, and Liam stops her and says he was planning to apologize to her as well, because he overreacted. He tells her Kelby was so glad about the singing, and he kept talking about it the whole time. They say goodbye to each other, and Alex walks out of Liam's house. Alex spends some time by herself, thinking and drinking coffee. She opens up to Beth about what happened with Liam, and Beth suggests getting a present for Kelby before she leaves. Alex and Liam meet once again to talk, and Alex lets him know she will be staying for a while longer with her mom, to help out with the inn and the opening night. Liam is glad to hear her say that. Kelby comes by, and Alex shows him his gift. She made a model of his old house, along with the piano room, where he used to sing with his mom. Both Kelby and Liam like the present. Kelby also shows Alex the advent decoration he made for her. It's the picture of the three of them, Kelby, Alex, and Liam. Kelby goes to play with Noah. Alex and Liam are about to finally kiss, but then Carol interrupts everyone to wish a Merry Christmas, and remind of the long tradition of the hotel. Everyone lifts up their champagne glasses, and cheers to the new hotel and the holidays. Alex and Liam finally kiss. The whole group go sledding down the hill in the forest, and enjoy themselves. 